Hello and welcome to another tutorial using the game software and black and today we're going to be working on changing the color of our model's top. Now this is a model we're going to be using for this example. So the first tool we're going to be making use of is the parts tool. Now the parts tool allows us to draw a path around our model carefully around the edges. You click and you drag until it matches around the edges of the model. drag slightly now the pen tool there are two lines around two points around this pen tool or the parts tool sorry and these points Actually, allow us to control the lines or the direction the lines follow. Now, this line right here controls the direction of the previous path. Like, if I move this around, you see that a path changes its course. And this one, the top one, the one in front, controls the direction of the next line or the next path that is going to be drawn. So when I draw this right here, or right here, and I pull it right here, and I click for my next path, you see that our line goes in an awkward manner. I'm going to control Z that, and since I'm coming down to draw my path, I'm going to bring this down right here, and then put my path somewhere here, and we can see that it's uniform. So click and drag and just keep doing it that way so you get around the model. Now if this were here, I'm just going to show you this again. And I click on the shoulder, you see how our path goes. We don't want that. So we're going to just put this somewhere around here and then click. Okay. And then Now for those of us who are not familiar with the part two, <clears throat> we could just go around clicking each points one by one. You know, just touch, 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 touch and until you get around it. You don't have to, I mean, if you can't do the click and drag, just whatever works for you, okay? Then you make a selection from path. By clicking this icon right here, it creates a new layer. We're going to name it shirt. Or we'll just say top. And OK. There's a new layer created. And now on this top, we're going to pick a color that we want to change our shirt to, or our top to. In this case, um, I'm going to be using blue. You can choose whatever color you want. And so hit OK. And then select our bucket filter. When selected, make sure you are on the top layer and not the original background layer. Make sure you're on the top layer and then you touch or within the selection, inside the selection, then it changes. Um, next thing you do is remove our selection by hitting Control Shift E. You deselect everything. Then coming down here, we we'll change the blend modes here to any of these. When we change it, you see that it can give us different results. Gain extract will give us a different result. Uh, gain merge will give us a different result. Darken only. Um, see overlay gives us a different result. We can see the original. Turn on the visibility here. You can see the original and you know the changed version of it. When we go to saturation, we get something different. Go to hue, get something different. So you can just you can just mess around with the blending modes <coughs> to get different results. That is all about using the parts tool. Okay, so if for anything you want to go back and you know get your selection back, you don't want to go through the whole process of you know having to do everything from the top to the bottom. You know, there's a way you can do that. You, know, you can save your selection and come back and use it some other time by just clicking select and save to channel and when you do this your selection is saved in your channels tab right here 
you can see right here so if I just deselect this and I can come here and right click and click channel to selection when I do this you see that my selection comes back so that is it about changing colors of dresses or clothes or whatever okay so you can mess with the opacity here that's how much color you want to show through on this top so whatever works for you that is it about changing colors of tops so i hope you learned from this i hope you enjoyed it too so don't forget to export the file when you're done too all right